for for those who don't know, so now I'm uh, <coughs> I'm working at uh, Simone Atomistics, uh, which is a company that is. Uh, uh, making DFT software available uh, to industry, and we uh, we contribute uh, as much as we can to uh, to open source packages. Uh, also uh, participate to the training of researchers and uh, engineers in uh, atomistic simulations, and creating synergy between uh, universities and and companies. So one uh, one of the tools that Simone is developing is the, the ASAP Atomist Atomistic Simulation Advanced Platform and. <coughs> This uh, this is using uh, different DF DFT codes and making them more friendly to uh, to industry. So, to finish this very short uh, shameless plug, uh, just know that we hire, and if you are uh, interested, uh, just contact us at careers at So, uh, regarding the the build system of, of Abinit, I will uh, very briefly. Um, show different uh, perspective on the polarization that it has undergone uh, through time. So in two slides, so from 2004 to 2013, we, uh, we started with a relatively, let's say, simple, uh, so to speak, uh, situation where we had to find, to tune uh, parameters uh, between personal computers and HPC, so let's say in a one-dimensional uh, polarization. Uh, so this gave us the possibility to focus on other challenges the, that we had to meet uh, at that time, so compilers, automation, portability, etc. But then uh, things uh, started to become multi-dimensional, and uh, just this uh, first uh, linear polarization that we had is just one little part of a quadrant of now of something. So I've represented uh, here three uh, three major dimensions. <clears throat> so you have from left to right, uh, you still have so personal computers, laptop in the middle. So very uh, which which has become a very central uh, part uh, for the build system is supporting HPC environment. And uh, it also goes now uh, on the other side uh, to complex workflows, so like imagine high throughput or uh, multi-code calculations, etc. Uh, on the user side, I would say verti vertically, uh, we also we also go from, for example, if we are on, in a more industrial uh, environment, people uh, like black boxes, so not knowing too many details. And uh, if you go to education, for example, you can have things like Jupyter Notebooks, which require a lot of uh, interactivity, and which means that, for example, for the build system, it means being more Python friendly, for example. And uh, on another dimension, and we, we have the parallelism, which, which has come from the traditional MPI plus optionally OpenMP or vice versa, to uh, complex configurations with uh, new architectures and uh, the, the race to exascale and etc. So on on the design of the build system and on its evolution, of course, this, uh, this is a bit uh, more difficult to, uh, to find a balance between everything because we, we have to support at the, at, at the same time beginners uh, with laptops and uh, uh, having users that are not human, which are uh, highly automated frameworks and uh, connected to server farms which can have uh, a heterogeneous architecture and things like that. <coughs> uh, so uh, what I've called a slight calculation with high verbosity, when you do a tutorial, for example, you, do, you can do a lot of small calculations and uh, you want m m more verbosity from the output, which can include, if you do some uh, debugging or benchmarking, uh, so different compile flags, and on the other side, so wrapping everything uh, to, so that the, the build is 
completely uh, opaque to the user and uh, as well as most of the run. <clears throat> and also mixing uh, so OpenMP, MPI, GPU, uh, whatever you can imagine, uh, is also uh, a, a bit challenging in order not to uh, to end up into uh, too many uh, incompatible uh, settings. So, of course, uh, when when we had one dimension, so it was just tuning uh, things for users, but now we, we, what we have is each of us is uh, a set of points here, I would say, because we are uh, at different moments in time, we use different uh, uh, configurations in, in this uh, complex space. And uh, so we also have uh, to uh, remember the developers and the test farm uh, so it's important when the build system evolves not to break the the test farm. <clears throat> so uh, as you have seen in in Abidit nine, so the tendency uh, has been to um, to reduce uh, the, <clears throat> the the user interface. So there there were uh, places where we had several options, which are now. Uh, only uh, one, and uh, I will uh, I will give an example just afterward. Um, and not only uh, not only that, uh, but also uh, trying to uh, use the same conventions in Abinit and uh, its dependencies. Uh, this is uh, very important for automation. So if we have frameworks which are compiling uh, Abinit and its dependencies, uh, and so this means. Uh, be in contact with other people uh, and uh, agree on, uh, on some interfaces. Um, so at, at, as well as the, at the level uh, of the source code, so the interaction of the build system of the source code uh, regarding low level stuff that is, is uh, more easily shareable with, uh, with other people. I think of uh, Abinit and Big DFT, for example and uh, very high level and specific stuff that uh, needs different uh, configuration parameters. Uh, also, uh, since we are going uh, to higher modularity, so <coughs> uh, it has to take care of uh, managing libraries, managing uh, different uh, places in the source code and also uh, more and more uh, the, the data flow. So I will uh, I will come to this uh, just afterwards. <clears throat> and uh, so at the end, what we have is uh, we have we have uh, multiple uh, paths to multiple solutions. So, uh, for example, if you want to manage the dependencies of Abinit, you have I would say the, the basic uh, quick and dirty uh, solution, which is the, the fallbacks. Uh, but now you have also access to uh, the ESL bundle uh, and frameworks like EasyBuild and SPAC to, uh, to build a build on different environments. So what is uh, common to, to all of this, it's, uh, it can only work if it's uh, done uh, through uh, multilateral collaborations, and I insist on the S here. <clears throat> so just to uh, to go briefly on uh, what this means uh, for uh, the, where the, the build system is, is going <clears throat> so we uh, so the, the the interface is defined through uh, two kinds of categories so you have profiles uh, and basically the I put the main ones here uh, so end users developers maintainers and testers and uh, scripts and automated frameworks. So scripts are now considered uh, fully as uh, users. <coughs> and uh, so sectors also, so education, HPC, uh, of course, which is the main one, and uh, academic research and industrial research and R&D, uh, which is one of the topics uh, I'm also <coughs> covering in, in at Simone. Uh, so regarding the workflow, as you know, uh, 
we we want to keep things as uh, as simple as short as possible for uh, end users and in particular uh, beginners. So this is uh, taking into account uh, all the parameters we have to uh, to deal with. This is not uh, a simple uh, task. So ideally. Uh, we would we would like to uh, to reach a point uh, as soon as possible where um, an end user can do can do configure make make install if they don't have uh, access to uh, an automated framework to compile them in it and uh, <clears throat> remember also that uh, so there is this make check that you can do before make install. And for this, uh, select uh, and keep uh, relevant uh, the, the test we select for for the for this uh, target. And so this is a small uh, subset of tests that uh, take uh, a shorter amount of time than the full Abinit uh, test suite. And uh, so where did we uh, hide all the complexity? Here is it's inside the the, the configure script. And um, this this is the the part which has to uh, to really uh, uh, do the, the the most trickiest uh, the trickiest uh, tests to uh, to to guess or to uh, to find out what is on the user's uh, computer, and uh, it has to do it uh, without uh, hindering one category while favoring another category. So this is where we are, this is why uh, you have seen in the, in the past years, we are a bit oscillating between uh, the different categories of users. Uh, something that, uh, that, that now is, is clear that we, uh, that we uh, want to improve is uh, whenever something goes wrong, uh, then the, the configure script should include uh, hints and instructions so that the user can uh, can more easily uh, fix the, the the problems which means in turn that they have to be detected properly and this is not uh, always easy <coughs> um, so we have also to uh, to uh, to uh, to deal with the limitation that we have with configure which is communicating through two kinds of command line options so this is what uh, I will I will detail just uh, just after, and um, <clears throat> so yes. So remember that you have the fallbacks, but that it's just uh, let's say a quick and dirty help. And it uh, we would like in the future to to have better ways of uh, installing the environment and uh, and controlling it. So the the options that you can use with configure. So this is because we choose the the, the auto tools. So it has to be enable feature. And uh, here, uh, so now it's restricted to have only yes or no values because in, in the past we uh, we load different uh, values and uh, in this way, well, this this uh, we uh, we create a limitation here, but we. Uh, we all also easier collaboration with other project and managing uh, the dependencies of Abinit and Abinit itself in a, in a more unified way. And uh, so the, the with uh, package libs, with package inks, with package bin uh, options have been replaced all with with package uh, also for the, the same reason. So, but in this case, uh, so it was not permitted before to have yes or no. And so now, uh, you have a uh, no if you want to disable something when it can be. So, for example, the linear algebra that I put below is not uh, possible to disable because I mean it would not work. Uh, and yes is uh, telling the build system, okay, do your best. And this is uh, an improvement which, on the other hand, has uh, introduced more complexity in, inside the build system. <coughs> So of course there are also interactions between uh, options. So if you uh, if you take the example of linear algebra, <coughs> uh, if we say yes, then the build system now has a, a heuristic to uh, to decide which kind of test 
uh, where what to search for and uh, where uh, to search for it so this can be improved of course with uh, with your feedback and uh, we uh, we have for some of the options these flavors uh, so where where you can tell the build system uh, okay, I want this one because uh, maybe you have different uh, flavors installed on your machine, and you don't you don't want the system to always uh, use the same. And so this this is uh, now the reduced uh, in user interface that uh, that is uh, uh, provided this way, so that we can also uh, unify this interface with uh, with other packages and DFT codes. And for the expert, uh, now uh, you can use the environment variables. So uh, linear algebra has a code name uh, linalg. And uh, so uh, you, you have underscore linalg, everything, so CPP flags, libs, etc. So I will, uh, I will come to the template just afterward, uh, where you can find the full list of what you can use. And uh, so you have uh, interactions with other options. So if you say uh, with MPI different uh, than no, then, uh, okay, if you say no, it will not look for Scala pack, for example. And if you say yes, it will look for Scala pack. <coughs> and also uh, we have currently uh, still uh, one aspect to, uh, to fully uh, tune, which is uh, the FFT, because sometimes there are uh, bad interactions between FFTW and uh, MKL, for example. So uh, the recommendations uh, for, for, the, for the beginners, so this is uh, run without co uh, command line option. Hopefully, in uh, in the, the the upcoming versions, all the hints that we will provide will will be helpful to uh, to solve the the missing uh, dependencies. Uh, and uh, please uh, ask help for more uh, advanced users. And uh, also, uh, always remember that you can use uh, this uh, sorry uh, the template uh, that is provided in the doc build. Uh, config template.ac9 file. So it contains the most up-to-date uh, list of whatever parameters you can tune. And if you don't understand something, then or you ask someone, or you usually you can uh, safely ignore it, except on some uh, specific uh, configurations. So the, the same uh, goes for the intermediate and experts. So is to uh, collaborate uh, within uh, the Davinit community. So the, the forum documentation, direct uh, help is also possible. So, And uh, yes, the, the best uh, you can do uh, whenever you have a problem is to report it, uh, at least on the forum. And uh, so this is useful feedback to help um, direct the build system to uh, the, the best possible uh, user interface. <coughs> so, at some point, uh, I realized that, okay, that's good to, uh, to have a build system that covers many, many cases, but uh, we have to put a boundary to its mission. And uh, this is where the help of external collaborations uh, come in. So you have uh, the electronic structure library, which can be, uh, which is becoming very helpful because now it has a, an interesting list of uh, libraries provided by the ESL bundle. And the ESL bundle contains uh, a, a Python-based meta build system, which means this is a wrapper that will call the build systems of all the dependencies of Abinit, for example. And we, we are able also to, uh, to provide uh, a configuration specific for Abinit that would be able to uh, to, uh, to, to build up in it uh, on top of this. Uh, if you want to understand uh, a bit more the, how things work in the, the ESL bundle, there is the ESL demonstrator, which, uh, which is a very generic uh, code that contains both uh, a plane wave and, uh, and uh, localized orbital uh, code using the, the, all the dependencies as uh, independent libraries uh, 
And so this is a good way to explore the, the building and installing of all these things. And for the data flow, so I, I briefly mentioned it, uh, the, uh, the, the SL is uh, providing, uh, so still under heavy development, but the uh, ESC, the electronic structure common data format, which uh, also has an incidence on the build system because you need to support the libraries that are used to uh, implement this, uh, this file format. So you have uh, also, if we go a bit further, so all the HPC-oriented collaborations. Uh, so EasyBuild, uh, SPAC are uh, the, the most known examples. So I'm taking over currently the generation of Easy Configs for Abinit. And so the, 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 the future uh, files you will get for Abinit will be uh, fully tuned to the, to the current build system and not to the build system of Abinit 8. So this should, uh, we should, uh, so the plan is to publish next week because we have a, an ESL follow-up uh, workshop next week to, to publish some of these uh, easy config files. So, which will be consistent with the last, uh, the latest release of the ESL bundle. Uh, some uh, thing which is also currently explored more and more is the containerized builds. So. I won't detail it too much. It has also its own challenges, and so you need Docker or Singularity, uh, which uh, then Docker uh, is usually very useful for continuous integration or continuous deployment and etc. <coughs> and uh, also we have uh, more and more uh, collaboration. So ESL is now uh, con collaborating uh, directly with Easy Builders. Uh, also with Molsi. So Molsi has provided, for example, a Python interface to LibXC. Uh, and uh, also everything that has been done or is still done uh, with the, the, the centers of excellence, so ICAM, Max, Pops, so they, they, they all have a, a positive uh, feedback and influence on the, on the design of build systems. And uh, so, for the data flows, so for the text-based uh, files, uh, as you probably uh, know, so for input files, the, <coughs> there are uh, there is the library for, from Siesta, so FDF. For pseudos, which is uh, used in Abinit, uh, so you have the PSML file format along with the XMLF90 and the PSML libraries. Uh, uh, the, the PAW data sets, so you have the uh, PO XML and the LIPO uh, format, which uh, which is also used uh, outside Abinit. <coughs> and um, for JSON and YAML files that are exchanged uh, between code or uh, input, output, etc. So everything related to Python. So this means that the, the, the B system is, uh, is taking care of all these uh, dimensions. And last but not least, uh, the binary files. So with, uh, to, uh, to exchange binary data between codes, we need support for HDF5 and HCDF. And this is a quite complex part here. And so this is uh, improving, but uh, yeah, there's still uh, some way to go, I would say. So the, the current plans, uh, this, uh, improve uh, error messages and hints uh, provided by configure. I think this is a high priority uh, task. Uh, the support for Intel One API. So now that Intel is a bit more uh, flexible with uh, distributing uh, some of their software. So the <coughs> this is uh, important to, uh, to, to look at the possible uh, still remaining problem with the FTW, for example and uh, specific ways of configuring it. And so, uh, yeah, you have one, one minute because we are already- Okay, yeah, the this time. is the last slide, so. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, so, HDF5 and HCDF, they, they are, uh, this is going on. And uh, so, what is also going on but that maybe you, you don't see uh, too much is the, the, the unifying the build system user interfaces of various libraries, utilities, and generators. So, AtomPow is uh, upcoming uh, in this respect because uh, I see no reason to uh, not having uh, the benefits of 
what we are able to do in a minute with the linear algebra yeah, in all, not also in at in atom pool. <coughs> And uh, so what also I'm doing currently is uh, developing, uh, testing and, and templating framework for build systems. So to, uh, to help people bootstrap uh, new build systems. Uh, so it will be first with auto tools and uh, we hope to, uh, to do something about CMake as well. So, and let's, uh, the last point is a question so the, to the Avenid community and also to the big DFT community. So. Will we get rid of the secular dependency before the next workshop? So this is uh, this is my question. So thank you for the time and thank you for this opportunity to uh, to give some news from the big system. So thank you, Jana, for your nice presentation. Uh, so I see that there are in the chat that there are no uh, no questions, but I have a very small one because I'm not sure I got the idea of the, the configure. So what you were saying is that you are cleaning all this part of the configure and the build of Abinita. Yeah. And that you, you you are pushing more in the direction not of having an enormous configure in which you take into account all the possible strange architecture and paths that are completely surrealistic for libraries, but something that is a little bit more uh, okay, less uh, extended and less um, specific, right? This, this was the point. So the, the idea is to uh, to uh, to put to set some boundaries. So it was difficult it was difficult at the beginning to find a proper boundary for the, the build system, and then uh, for everything that goes beyond uh, this uh, boundary is to use collaborations with uh, people who develop frameworks like EasyBuild, for example, or the ESL bundle, because they they will provide more configuration. So basically, they will use the uh, build system user interface and provide config files typically uh, that will uh, so preset so config files for different architectures. So we will have collections okay. of uh, configurations available to the build system, but this will be the mission of someone else, not the build system. Okay, okay. but uh, you will accept, uh, so for instance, in this uh, strategy, uh, also if uh, some uh, users or uh, some uh, university that has a cluster a little bit strange uh, contribute with uh, uh, a piece of the configure, this would be uh, acceptable after you check uh, that it is uh, compliant with the standards that you have defined, right? Well, I'm not sure I understand fully your question, but uh, this 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 remains fle uh, flexible. So flexible. you you have different yeah you have different points of uh, interaction with the build system. So if you need really something new, then we can add support for, for example, for a new dependency, a new package. Uh, but then if it's a matter of configuration, then we have various solutions that, uh, and we can get help from also other from people. Other okay. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you. You're welcome.